So the fishing's a little slow today. I'm out on the water. I'm gonna give you a boat overview. Um, it's a 96 Champion 181. Uh, it's 18 foot long. It's perfect for me. It's first bass boat, first real bass boat. I had a tin boat before, and I got a steal on this one, so I had to pick it up. It was it was down in Chicago, which is like probably it was like five and some change hours away from where I live so it was quite the haul to get it but I it was just such a good deal I couldn't pass it up so yeah it's powered by a 96 Johnson fast strike runs really really good loves gas it, it burns a lot of fuel it seems like all I've been doing is going to the gas station so back here we have 31 gallon gas tank. I got just random tools and some uh, some fuel treatment in that box. It has 24 size batteries is what it came with and I've never been dead but they they just aren't quite enough. I've, I've gotten close to killing these all the way so I'll probably upgrade those to like 29s or 30s in the future, 30 size batteries. It's got a one gallon oil, oil reservoir so it's oil injected. It's all this back here. Um, got nav lights. I have a Raker 24 pitch on the back here, which will, with this jack plate, it'll make it go. I've, I've got up to 65 GPS. Um, it's a, it's a single, single gas tank, so it keeps the boat really even. It makes it ride nicer. And starting back here. We have wet storage, this isn't dry, there's no seal in this. So I usually just throw old plastics and rope and keep my plugs in there. It has a massive, massive live well, no fish in it. It's divided. It, it's it's a 30 gallon live well. So you can hold two limits of fish in it all day. Uh, in the future I'm gonna do the V2 vents in here. So and then this one's same as the other side, dry storage, or wet storage, sorry, with, I just have a call, a calling system, and then I made this bracket out of angled aluminum, and I just adhesive it on. And I got a couple micro buoys at the console. It's a Garmin 73 SV. It's got side imaging, which it's on right now. Here, we, it has an array of gauges, and all of them work. This doesn't work, which I wish I could have a, a good a good plate to cover this up so it wouldn't look ugly, but I'm not going to do anything about it. So the reason I got this boat so cheap is because the gel coat, when it was cured, it wasn't cured correctly. So the top cap has these stress cracks in it, which is nothing structural. It's all just aesthetic. And it's just, it doesn't bother me, it just makes me feel less bad if I rub into a dock or hit something. I have the Garmin on a ram mount, a small ram mount, and I'm planning on upgrading that to a Helix 10, which I want to figure out a mount up here to mount the Helix 10, because I don't like it right here, it's just, it's just not me. Uh, it has a 12 volt cigarette lighter, charge stuff, fire extinguisher, has a hot foot, um, down here. There is just a little cubby where I keep uh, like iPod remote, a buff, some towels. Uh, yeah, that's about it. These seats don't have any storage under them. It's just blank, which is kind of a bummer, but in here, there's a cooler. Um, it's good size. It, it keeps ice pretty good. And as you can see here, there's a good slide for your co-anglers rods and you got a little strap for the rods uh, I'll start on this side this side it's it's a rod locker but I just keep life jackets rain gear extra plastics line and just an array of things in here camera bag here just tackle storage it fits it fits everything I need just fine in there whatever I don't need I just leave it at my house in my garage and it keeps the boat light and fast so we have a few rods up here which I'm gonna move over here is the rod locker 
Um, on the brochure it says it can only fit seven foot rods, but I have two seven and a half footers in there that just go up in the tip of the boat. So I just keep my, my ruler and this, this lid support. All the lids have uh, the gas shocks, which are getting old, but I can replace. Here we have rod buckle. And for some reason the owner put two on one side, which I mean is odd, but so I'm gonna add another on this side. Up here is the where all the magic happens, you know. It's just really proud of what I've done to this setup. So up here we have the new Minkota Ultrex, which is a literal game changer for fishing. Like it is one of the best things. This is my dream trolling motor, like this is any everything you could ever dream of is this trolling motor like here as you can see we have it on spot lock just click the anchor button this is unreal for it's an amazing trolling motor so here we have a helix 9 uh, down imaging unit on a mount that I made to go over the recess pedal and just bring it closer to your face uh, it's an 18 foot boat and fish is this is one person just really nice. I got this boat for $7,300 back in uh, July. I cannot complain one bit. It, it's it's a solid machine. It handles rough water. This boat rides as good as my buddy has like a, what is it? I believe a uh, 2012 Fastback Pantera. And I, I think it rides as good, if not a tad bit better than a newer bass cat. I mean, it, it's just a stellar platform. I, I couldn't complain at all. It's a hell of a boat for being 21 years old. Here we have a this. These came standard back in '96, which is which is crazy too. We have a just the locker bar that goes across, so no one can steal your stuff. Uh, this is actually original carpet, believe it or not, for 21 years old. The dude who had this before me is just just super meticulous about everything. In the future, like I said, I plan on adding Helix 10 so I can link Helix 10, Helix 9. And then I'd like to do um, some interior lights on the side. What the? Well, hello, Mr. Loon. Goodbye, Mr. Loon. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I want to do interior lights. Um, I want to do lid lights, under lid lights. I don't know. For 21 years old, to this boat the gel coat's in amazing amazing shape like it's still silky smooth just minus the stress cracks like you can't you can't stop this from happening when they make these boats the the gel coat just didn't cure right that the temperatures off and any little minor thing that happens during the curing process will make this crack so you just can't you, you can't do anything about it you can't control it cracking just uh great overall boat all right i'm gonna get a, a video of it running for you it's it, the motor runs like it's new the guy said it has around three to four hundred hours on it and i'm not really sure how you can check that on an old carbureted engine without electronic fuel injection so i'm gonna just get a quick video of, you, of it running just add in the truck I pulled this boat with is a 
07 F-150. Uh, it's got a topper, put a rod tube on it. It's got a leveling kit. She's a little beat up, but can't really expect anything less. Cause she's got uh, 231,000 on her, almost 232. So she's still chugging along and as long as she keeps pulling the boat, I'll be happy.